but we have woken up to a glorious morning. We're at the 1100 meter mark, about 35 miles off the Coromandel Peninsula for the middle of winter. And our target today is southern bluefin tuna. Sun's just starting to light up the morning sky and we've got the promise of a new day. Hopefully this new day is going to deliver some epic southern bluefin tuna action for us. I'm excited, hope we can make it happen. Get some of this gear in the water. right up there with the biggest kingies I've ever caught. This is a special place, so these are special fish. <laughs> we got a sword! Alright boys. Turn to take two. Coromandel edition. So much for our moon, Luke. Oh well, that front spotlight's bloody awesome. have woken up to a glorious morning. We're at the 1100 meter mark, about 35 miles off the Coromandel Peninsula. We launched in the wee small hours this morning. And as you can see, we're setting game gear. It's the middle of winter, and our target today is southern bluefin tuna. There's a really good run happening here at the moment. This is the third day in a row we've been out here. She's been a lot of action for a lot of the other boats, but so far we're yet to come up trumps. But today's our day. Gonna make it happen, hopefully. Sun's just starting to light up the morning sky, and we got the promise of a new day. Hopefully, this new day is gonna deliver some epic southern bluefin tuna action for us. I'm excited, hope we can make it happen. Get some of this gear in the water. The southern bluefin fishery in New Zealand is a relatively new fishery from a recreational point of view. It's been a pretty special evolution, this fishery, over the last couple of years. Our mates in the commercial longline fleet have been kind enough to share information and they've certainly opened up a whole new realm of winter game fishing possibilities here in New Zealand. And we're just currently going over the thousand metre mark just east of the Alderman Rise. This is where the action's been happening. So we've got our Bonds tuna lures out. We've got all the right signs that make me think there's tuna in the area. And hopefully it's only a matter of time before we get to do battle with some of these big southern bluefin barrels. We did two days out of Waiho Bay earlier in the week. Seems like we missed the run down there. So hopefully the tuna have got the same idea as us and they've also headed north. But now it's time for the waiting game to begin. But fingers crossed, man. I really want to catch one of these things, it's been a couple of years. There's a little bit of a temperature, ah, it's so little the temperature breaks though man. Go 14 miles for a half a degree change in temperature eh? Boys, back there you Oh uh, yeah, some bits and pieces, eh? Um, no real bait, but, but mark a few fish, I think, along the thousand meter line. I'm not a superstitious fisherman, but that's got to be a good omen. The gold, the pot of gold at the bottom of the rainbow. These guys over here are hooked up. Turn that radio up, dude. Yeah. Oh, they're going forward on it. 
Tell you what, it'll be a weight here, though. Yeah, but it's not doing anything. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it's a <laughs> I don't know what this is, man. I'd say it's probably an LB, bro. Day four of fishing. Finally, we've had a bite. I don't think it's the target species. Right. Been proved wrong before. I guess it's a very large albacore. It's attached to our spreader bar, so that adds quite a bit of weight as well. It's definitely a fish of some description. Pretty crink. Jeez, it pulled the blimmin'. Most of it away to go though. Oh, yeah, not that. Oh, yeah, 50, 60 metres. Hopefully, it uh, wakes up soon, mate. That'd be interesting if an albacore hit that blimmin' spreader bar. I don't reckon the albacore would have, though, to be honest. I don't know what it is then. If it's a bluefin, dude, it's tiny. It's got a gap. Oh, bro. Dude. There's actually a bit of weight there, eh? Oi! Oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh. It's doing circles, mate! Yeah, bro, it's definitely doing what we want it to. Oi! Oh. Yes, boy! And it's got a back right around that brownie. Yep. The jury's out here. I called it an albacore early on. It was a very small bite, but it's you're woken up. You're sitting at about 12 metres looking at the sound there. That's all right, it's just sitting there. Jeez, there's some weight there, bro. I suppose I am just trying to dig it into my hip, but here's the leader. Yeah, there's, there's a, a fish yeah, there, bro. Yeah, looks like a decent sized fish, boy. Does it? You might, um. You want me to come back and grab the line? Um. Yeah, we probably do need a leader, Luke, eh? Hey? Yeah, right. LBA. I don't reckon, bro. Don't you? No. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Come over, Trent. Come over, Trent. <laughs> hey, just wait for it. Just, just don't panic, mate. He'll, he'll come around. Right he'll, in the side of the skill plate, He'll dude. come around. I'll get him around to do another circle trip. Just gonna be your one, boy. Yeah. In the go. head, in the head, go. dude. Hold him. No. Okay, no. do you want to use a flyer or? No, you're right. Yeah, he'll come around this time, bro. Okay, just watch for that. Get that gaff in, bro. Okay. Right. Let me get another grip on it. Here we go, there we go, go. Swing across. Can you hear them now? 
Don't hit that lure, Trent. Just calm down. Just don't panic, dude. Straight okay. under. Yeah. Good, you got him. Good shot, man. Just hold him there. Hold him there. Hold him there. Shot, boys. Yes, boys. <laughs> got ourselves a bluefin, man. <laughs> got ourselves a bluefin. Good shot, bro. Yeah, boy, yes, brownie. Nice little butterball, man. All right, boys, well done. Man, that was a classic fight, dude. Yeah. Classic fight. Woo! Well, double hook. Day four of chasing these blimmin' things. It's not going to break any records, but it's the target species and it's going to taste real good. Heavy metals first. Bluefin tuna, boy. We on. Yes, boy! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Hey! That's all right, mate. Look at those hooks, double pinned them. We got them, boys. We got them. We got them. Right, the key to looking after these fish is dealing with them quickly. Gonna icky him. That there is the result of four days of slog up and down the east coast of New Zealand. It's gonna be a whole lot of delicious eating meat. This is one of the finest eating fish in the ocean. We'll get a couple of quick photos for the family album. And then this fish is gonna be paid the maximum amount of respect. We'll break it down, we'll get the gills and guts out, get it packed in ice. I've got 25 kilos of ice and this fish is going to be absolutely delicious. That's what we came for. How are you boys? Yeah! How are you boys? <laughs> All right, well we just got the gear set. We uh, bled the fish in its lateral line there. We thought we might as well get the gear out, keep fishing. There's actually a lot of boats around us, so st sitting stationary is not exactly a safe option and also we don't want to limit all our fellow wreck fishermen's chances of catching one themselves. So we're back up, we're running. I'm going to deal with this fish. I'm going to start by removing its guts and gills and then we'll pack it full of ice. Get it ready for consumption. Real warm body, these fish. You're going to come out here and target any sort of fish. Kawai, all the way through to giant marlin tuna. You've got to have ice, man. If you're going to harvest the fish, by all means, we're very fortunate to be able to take these or any sort of delicious, delicious eating fish out of the oceans in New Zealand. It's a privilege, and we've got to respect that privilege. We've got to respect the fish, putting them on ice, getting them to prime eating quality. It's one of the obligations you have when you decide to take a fish out of the marine ecosystem. Uh, very thankful to take this bad boy out of it. Alright, we got that tuna broken down, it's quartered, it's on ice, sitting in the eddy, it's going to be some prime eating fish, and that pretty much brings to an end our southern bluefin tuna adventure. Four days in the making, a lot of fishing up and down this east coast, and to finish in the dying hours of day four with a beautiful little butterball. Certainly takes the weight off the shoulders and wraps up an amazing adventure. So. We'll start clearing the gear, we'll set a course for home, and that's it, that's all. We got it. Shot, brother. Yes! <laughs> oh man, I thought we weren't gonna get one. We got him! We got him! We can go home happy right. now. Oh, I can't wait to eat that tuna, bro. <laughs> <laughs>